بسم شبی That's what happens when they're strong built and you unstack them. Rips comb apart. I'll give them a few minutes to work on that, clean up some of the honey, and then I'll smoke them all down. I'm sure it can. We can get close. I ain't afraid. I don't bite. <laughs> this is Jason, and welcome back to the 628 Dirt Rooster channel. Where hobby beekeeping mm -hmm. is a way of life. Look at this box. His daughter just painted this box for him. Is that sharp or what? Get over there where you can see it there, boy. Ain't nobody gonna steal it, that's for sure. It's a one of a kind. Jason's over here picking up a nuke. This is his this is his first nuke, first bees. We got a strong five framer in there. It's cold right now, 60 something degrees, so they're all down on the brood, but we done been through. We had a hard time finding the queen to begin with, but we found we it. We found it. She's in there, and they are laid up tight. We're gonna break it down. It's kind of cold right now. What's it? It's back back down below sixty, probably, ain't it? Yeah, it's cold. I'm shivering. <laughs> <laughs> so we're fishing to pack these things up, and he is headed back to K Town. Good. Yeah, we're we I'm in the. I'm on TV. <laughs> we clear and cut. Anybody want? Oh, anybody want them clickers? You got the front wired up? Yeah. So I got it all ready for transport. It's got screen over the front. And the box is taped onto the bottom board so it don't shift around in transit. I'm about to turn this trailer over walking on it. That's going in the trunk of the car with the seat laid down so it don't overheat. <laughs> Somebody may have sent me a toy. I have no clue what this is. Road Razor Can of Metal. Still have no clue what this is. <laughs> Let's see. It kind of looks like a battery box. Battery box of some kind. Oh, I see. I know what it is now. It's a little ammo can mating nuke. Oh, cool, cool. Two of them. Let me empty it out and show you the, the guts of the operation. There's the frame rest. Here's the entrance. And a uh, vented bottom. And here's the uh, groove top bars for starter strips. These came from Robert Pagel in Minnesota. Thank you, Robert. Okay, I got 30 minutes of sunset, a big heavy box of bees to split, and none of my equipment's ready. Let's get started. Check out all that bright pollen coming in. They got some building going on this one pretty good. Uh, doesn't look like there's any brood in the top box. Middle box is busting at the seams and the bottom box is the same way from what I looked at the other day. Let me grab some equipment. Let me get started busting these up. Okay, I'm, I don't have a whole lot of time right now. So the whole goal for today is just to keep from losing them to a swarm before I get back. From a road trip. Mm 
And that's all nectar and a whole passel of drones. There's a brood frame. It's got a good mix of young and old larvae and some eggs. I'll do a quick once over for the queen. I don't see her, this is going in a box. Now before I put it in, let me see if I can show you something. Getting where they're backfilling cells with nectar and I don't want that, I, don't, I want them uh, having room to lay. Here's another brood frame with uh, just a few cap cells left. Some open brood, some uh, lar open larva, and some eggs. Not sure that you can even see any of that, but they're in there, take my word. Another good, there's another good brood frame with a bunch of eggs in it, a bunch of young larvae and eggs. That was five frames, I made two nukes. Four more frames to go, and I think the bottom box might have nine frames in it too. And there's some more frames over here for food. Pretty sure the queen's not up here, but I gotta check it anyway. That's a heavy frame right there. That sucker's full of honey. Here comes an interesting frame. There comes an interesting frame. Check out that drone frame. Worker brood on the back side. This one's got about uh, five queen cups in it. kind of dark out here but they all look empty okay here's my queen right here right there she'll get moved to a different box on a different yard. There she is coming around the top. She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. <laughs> Gotta be careful not to drop her. Okay, that made one, two, three nukes. Still got that bottom box to go and I still got a couple of frames laying around. And uh, 
I'll probably take care of this next week. I really just wanted to stop the chance of them swarming while I was gone. That's out of the bottom box. I decided to go ahead and finish up tonight. Again, bottom box. As I'm going, I'm checking these drone cells I'm busting. I'm not finding any Varroa anywhere. There's another bottom box frame. They're pretty much all looking like that except for the two outside frames. Okay, well, here's what I'm coming away with. I got six nukes. I moved these five. That one's got the queen in it. The original box is in the original location. I'm about three miles away. It's in my dad's backyard sitting on my little trailer here. And the reason I moved them is because I put the amount of bees in these boxes that I wanted in them. And I don't want any of the forage bees to go back to that original box, which they would if I just moved them on that same yard. And you can do, you can't, there's different ways to do these splitters. There's a dozen different ways to do them. This is just the way I like to do them. And all these will be making, these four and that one on that other yard will be making queen cells starting tomorrow or, or maybe even starting tonight. But my dad and a friend of ours did some grafting a couple weeks ago and by now, if we don't have virgin queens, we at least got cells ready to emerge. So in the morning, I'll either pop a cell in each one of these, prob probably just stick a cell in them and let them have a virgin and let them get her mated. There's plenty of drones out right now. This one with the queen, I put the least amount of brood in it, but I did leave some brood in it. It's, it's mostly honey, but it's so full, I'm gonna have to move it up to a full size pretty quick with everything in bloom now. They'll, they'll, uh, pack that box out. I, I can only fit four frames in at least two, maybe three of these boxes because the frames were so drawn out, so fat. So some of these are just four frames. So I just want to give you an idea kind of what you can split up. You know, a lot of people are not comfortable breaking up, breaking them up this much and some people will break them up twice as much. It's all what you're comfortable with. I probably would be comfortable going another two nukes maybe. But uh, that's only because I've got queens right now. We got plenty of drones though, so when I put cells in them, they'll, they'll get her mated and get going.